Hi everyone, this is Editor Todd, and we are back again with The Walking Dead. Everyone you love around you is dying! <laughs> now in this uh, episode, we're just going to do a tier ranking of the Season 1 characters, excluding the 400 Days DLC. Now for some reason I had to add Chuck because Chuck wasn't there. Chuck wasn't considered serious either in the game itself or on the tier ranking. I don't know what people's problem is with Chuck. I'm cool with Chuck. Chuck was a new dog to me. But I'm gonna try and do it chronologically in order of the people that we actually meet in the game. Now, uh, S is, you know, the best, as we all know. Uh, a is quite good with just a few uh, character flaws that will make it difficult. B and C are sort of average, but just a bit better average and a bit worse average. D is for, <laughs> is for dead, as I said there, which is just, you you bad. And then S is, uh, in the famous words of Bruce Campbell, you just sleep with the scorpions. You know, you just, just get out of here. I'm not there having anything to do with you. So chronologically, the first man we dealt with was this man. This man over here. This is the policeman. Now, this policeman did two good things. Number one, he said he reckoned I didn't do it. So that's one thing in his favor. And the second one is, he inadvertently gave me my first firearm. So I'm not going to... He's a pretty average, but I'm going to put him on a B. You, Mr. Policeman, sir, you are a B because you have you believed I was innocent. And you also gave me my first firearm. Fantastic. Now I'm going to leave Clementine out. Uh, Clementine and Lee I'm going to save for the end just because they went all the way. And I, I couldn't just give a rating like that. Okay, so at that point we went and, and met the... I don't know if this is supposed to be Otis or something, but I want to... <laughs> he's just so... You, sir, you didn't really do much, but you seemed quite clueless about everything. So at least you didn't, you know, get eaten in that short time. So I'm going to put you on a C. But you didn't do much either. Um, you, Herschel's child, you you were, you know... What's it? Shane. You was quite... Um, Productive, unfortunately, just not very um, vigilant. So, unfortunately, got uh, got done by that. So, I'm gonna just put you on a C. You uh, you didn't do much, Herschel. You chased us away, but you also gave me some shelter. So, put you in on a C. It's just not much. B might uh, maybe a B actually. Uh, you know, it's okay, fine. Let's switch him over. Let's put him on a B. You, you with this man. That's just good stuff for you. Okay, so that's when we left. Now, who should I do, Kenny, or should I wait? I want to say that, uh, e yeah, 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 yeah. maybe also the time that they left us, because all these four characters actually left us in that time as well. Let's do it that way. Not just when you met them, but when they actually left or got done in or something. Okay, so then we went to Macon, and we met Lowry. Oh, Lowry, Lily, and everybody else in the group. And then we lost Carly. Lost poor Carly. Carly. You know, she had the firearm and everything. Yes, that's cool. But she couldn't put batteries in radio. Uh, that still shocks me that you can't. Put batteries in the radio correctly, so I'll put you in for C. I'll put you in for C. I can't put you on B because that was quite bad. Uh huh. Yeah, so then we left, went to the motel. Now, this is where we meet Bane's group. Bane's group, we've got Mr. I think it's Mr. Parker and Travis. Now, Mr. Parker, number one, you stepped into a bear trap in what looked like a fairly unvegetated area. So it's gonna be a D for me. You just D for dead. It was, Ben, this is the type of group that you hang out with, so we'll see where that comes into play. Travis is as well. It's just D for dead. You, he was completely not apocalypse material. He just fell over. He, he had no survival instinct whatsoever. So it's unfortunate you guys are, are, are D for dead. That's just the way. So okay, if I recall correctly, that's when we started having a run in with these people. Oh man, the freaking St. John's people. It's horrible. Absolutely horrible. And that's when we lost poor Mark. Now, Mark, he's probably between one of two things. He's between an A and a D. 
D because he got done in quite badly. But here's the thing about Mark. We failed Mark. Our group failed Mark. I'll do Glenn. I saw Glenn there. Uh, I forgot about Glenn. I'll, I'll do Glenn real soon. Um, but we failed Mark. That's the bad thing. I, after he got wounded by Andy, Andy's treason and your lies. He said you heard some yelling out of this freaking lies. He, I, I'm pretty sure Andy tried to swindle us into um, eating human meat by doing that. Uh, you tried to trick us. But we failed Mark because we should have been looking in. We should have been checking in on him. So I'm going to put Mark in as an A because he was very helpful. And I don't think he failed. I think we failed him. Which is quite sad. It was quite a bad thing that happened there. So poor Mark, I'll put you in a great A because I think you were okay. You were a bit naive. But we failed you more than you failed us. Now, Glenn didn't do much. He just ran around, uh, helped with the car and stuff, and then tried to <laughs> to get some action with, <laughs> with her you know, or something. And then he just left. So he's just a C. Yeah, it's not much, poor Glenn. You went and chased your fortunes in the show. And that's what it is. Okay. So then we have the three people. Oh, no, wait. When then we have Larry. Larry, everybody knows. Sleep with the scorpions, Larry. Sleep with the scorpions. You betrayed me. You tried to get me taken out by the freaking walkers in the shop, in the drugstore. You're a traitor. It's terrible. Just just for that alone. Very bad team dynamics, but also a complete traitor. It's terrible. And he, he, my, my main objective in the whole game was to get vengeance on Larry, which unfortunately never happened. In fact, it's so bad because of my misclicking, it actually looks like I wanted to help him when his time came. So it's, it's quite bad. But yeah, Larry, sleep with the scorpions. St. John's, Mama, sleep with the scorpions. Andy, sleep with the scorpions. Dave, I think it's Dave, sleep with the scorpions. Just horrible people, all three of you. Are you three, I can't believe they tried to rationalize eating meat. I can't believe they completely discounted Andy, uh, Andy's massive irresponsibility and potential deceit in getting Mark wounded in the first place and then being like, oh well, now let's eat him because I messed up. No, no, if you you think you're going to convince me into killing and eating my friend but, but, by saying such nonsense, no. That would never have worked. It's the stupidest thing. Vile people sleep with the scorpions. Okay. Uh, at this point, we got into some trouble with the thugs. Chased us right out of the motel. And uh, the worst of the worst happened. We lost Doug. Doug. The most useful of all. He was the best of us all. Doug was endlessly helpful. He was so innovative. He found ways of using the bells. He had batteries for Clementine. <laughs> and he didn't even eat the beef jerky that I offered him, allowing me to cement an even stronger alliance with Kenny's family. He was just the absolute best. He helped with the laser pointer. And in the end, he died saving Ben. Like a true team player. Doug, you are 100% S tier. Just the best. And it saddens me that we couldn't save Doug. It's terrible. And then shortly after we left Lily. Lily is A tier. I know Lily's got her faults. Lily made one massive mistake. She made one massive mistake. Every other moment in the game, pretty much, she really helped out. She helped me fight Andy. She helped me fight Dave, where Kenny just huddled with a freaking sad dog look in his eyes. So Lily stood up and, and helped as well as with a sniper. So she made one massive mistake. So I'd only, I can't put her as S tier, but she's definitely A tier. It was just one mistake. It was a colossal mistake. Don't get me wrong. But... It's still one mistake. So I put her as A tier. Okay. Then, sadly, we lost Duck and Katya. Now, Katya had a longer role in the series than I expected. 
although it was still not a very large role. And Duck, as I kept saying, his enthusiasm would end up getting him taken out, which is sad, but you just, you sort of see it with him. And um, yeah, we had the little detective thing. But beyond that, there's not much. At least they had a positive note to them. They were nice, nice people, useful, with Katya helping out Mr. Parker and everything, and Duck just keeping a good sense of morale and appreciating the beef jerky. So, gonna put them both as a B tier. Actually, that is correct. Katya went before Duck. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, so. At this point in time, we got our train, we got Omid and Krista, got our train into town. And then we lost Chuck. Now, Chuck had a short stint, but Chuck was awesome. Chuck instructed me to cut Clementine's hair, teach her about the firearms, and just gave me general um, attorney advice, because Chuck obviously had to be a very high-powered attorney that just decided, hey man, what am I doing all this for? And decided to live on a train. That's, that's my, my story. I expect Chuck to have been a high-powered attorney, who just completely checked out of the rat race and, and went chilling. So, Chuck, you also, and you, you sacrifice yourself for the group, fighting with a shovel and taking zombies out until you ended up in the sewer. So you're S grade, S tier. But Chuck wasn't even put in the list. I'm putting him in S tier. He's awesome. He was the new dog for a short stint and then he was gone again. It was quite sad. Okay, now we don't know what happened to Molly. We just don't know. But I didn't like Molly. Molly was shifty. Molly was real shifty. She could at least get things done, but man, she did not stick to a plan at all. So she's C tier. You C tier. You're shifty. I can't put you any higher than that. You're definitely shifty. At this point, we also lost Bree. I don't know about Bree. I don't know if I'd put her in as a C or a D tier. Because she didn't do much. In terms of defending herself, I'm gonna put her in as a D. I can't believe Bree was in this list, but not Chuck. What the heck? <laughs> Originally, like uh, she's she wasn't as in the game as long as Chuck, as far as I remember. Well, was Molly as long? I don't even. Know. Why? Why did you all gang in? Uh, gang up on Chuck? I don't get it. Okay, okay, but okay. So I'm putting Bree in as D tier just because. Yeah, she, she never really got a chance to really show more potential. Now, if I recall correctly, we don't really see Vernon anymore. So I'm going to say what Vernon was. Vernon, Vernon's difficult. The thing, Vernon shot me and then I came back and he didn't. But his character between the two was so different. He's, he doesn't seem very, very consistent. And then he stole our boat. Oh, he did what he did. He's definitely not D for dead. Uh, he's not sleep with the scorpions. He's not that bad. I think I'd put Vernon in as a C tier if I had to. I can't put him as a B. He was helpful, but uh, I put him in a C tier. Can't put him in as a B. Now, here's the sad part here about Mr. Ben. Ben? You're sort of a product of the crowd you ran with. Ben is D for dead. The saddest thing is uh, the last conversation I had with Ben, if I recall correctly, he said he just wants to be useful. Biggest problem with Ben was he just didn't communicate with the group. He could have just said, hey man, I was threatened by some thugs. They want food and drugs. What are we gonna do about it? But he didn't. He tried to organize something. Or he could have just said, Hey man, I know um, uh, I took this, I want to take this hatchet from the door. Is it a good idea or not? I'm like, no! You, please, don't do it, Ben. You're going to rip open the doors with the zombies. That's his biggest problem, was just not communicating with people. The boat, losing the boat, I don't think he could have done anything about it. And at least he had a, a wound to show he tried. So I'm going to put him in as D for dead because unfortunately he was a phenomenal liability all the way. Sorry, my friend. Your intentions were good, but man, did you fail at everything. I think all we could have really done with Ben was just at that moment in RV when he said, please, just, just let me leave and I'll go. We should have said yes. Like, just go your own way, man. Hopefully you survive. You probably won't because, uh, you know, the company you kept shows that not a lot of survival instincts. Um, 
because Ben was just a tremendous liability all the way. <sighs> it's sad, but he was, he was, unfortunately. Now our list is getting a bit tight. Uh, before we see the stranger, we also lost Kenny with Ben. Now Kenny is... Kenny did too much to be B or C tier. Kenny isn't S tier, not to me at least. Um, he cowered out of way too many cases, just giving me the sad puppy dog eyes. He left me to, uh, to my own fate in the drugstore when the door fell on me. He did save me, ironically enough, in that store a while back. So, but there are simply, he dropped me on the Jeep from the truck. Uh, he left me at the tower when I was pulling Ben up. Um, it, there was simply too many times that Kenny was not reliable when he left me. Cases where he really could have just done the effort of helping out, so I can't put him in as S tier. I'd put him in as A tier behind Lily. I actually consider Lily to be better than Kenny, but not by a large margin. Slightly. Whereas Kenny made many small mistakes, Lily made one big mistake. Uh, Lily didn't handle certain things that well, but in terms of survival and combat, she was reliable. Kenny's reliable too, but Kenny leaves you behind too many times. So that's his problem. Now we've got Omid and Krista. Now, Omid and Krista are the strongest human beings of all time, and beyond that as well. Omid didn't tell all the grudge against me for leaving him to freaking perish uh, when he f fell off the train. He survived a fever by himself without antibiotics. Uh, or what? It was the fever. I think it was a fever. And what looked like a pretty severe wound. And the thing about Omid and Krista was they went in to help me with very little investment from my side as lead to actually build on the relationship. So they're great people. I put in virtually nothing with Omid and virtually nothing with Krista and yet they came and helped me without hesitation. So they are definitely S tier. You two are the strongest humans of all time. Now here we have a strange one. We've got the stranger. The stranger as a villain. Now uh, it's actually quite hilarious to me that I joked about the people with the food being the ultimate villains or being the stranger and then it turned out to be him. That's really funny to me because <laughs> it, it seemed to be so unrealistic. And for that reason, the stranger's is S-tier. Because he managed to hold down that hotel by himself, which I have no idea how he kept it so, so clear of zombies. Like, obviously, that, that place had to be flooded with zombies, but it was completely clear when I got there. He managed to track us down and chase us all the way from Macon um, down to Savannah with his car... Following a train, he managed to, number one, sp spy on us for all that time without even being seen. He managed to hack into the walkie-talkie of Clementine. So yes, he wasn't the best person, and yeah, he had a freaking bowling bag with a head in it, but in terms of performance, he performed freaking S-tier as a villain, and he survived as well. The zombie didn't get him, Lee got him, so S-tier to the stranger, I have to do it. <laughs> Uh, and then we've got, well, Lee, because Clementine's the sole survivor here, or the, the survivor here. If I had to judge Lee, I have to judge him by the actions that I took. And I failed to protect Duck the first time with Shane, and Shane ended up getting bitten anyway. I failed to protect Duck when they got attacked, although that's more story than anything else. <sighs> uh, yeah. I failed in quite a few things. I'm trying to remember back to all of them, but I didn't do as well as I could have. And I couldn't get revenge on Larry. So I'd say Lee's A tier. Lee's definitely better than Kenny, as a cat, because Lee actually went his way. Uh, the way I played him, he went his way to help people. Whereas Kenny, you left people behind way too many times. What I say was, yeah, I would say he was better than Lily in the sense that I played him as somebody you could rely on. He didn't leave people to their fates unless they were unimaginably irresponsible and incompetent. 
but he'd usually help out wherever he could. So I'd say he's, well, if I had to take Mark, yeah, okay, freaking. I wasn't naive. You were very naive. But yeah, I'll, I'll give him an eight tier. Clementine, obviously S tier because eight, nine years old, managed to survive the jewelry store, managed to drag Lee into the jewelry store, which is still amazing. All the trauma, still upbeat most of the time, very helpful, very nice. Uh, gave me my first uh, melee weapon, which was the hammer. And just all round, all round, Clementine, S tier. Gonna see you in season two. Oh man, uh, okay, for, I'll put it up before, before Doug. Um, but yeah, Clementine, S tier, you're the best. I mean, Lee said, I mean, he's gonna miss you. And can't wait to get to season two. We're gonna see what's up. We're gonna see what the adventure is and how it goes from there. But yeah, that's my tier ranking of the people. At least in season one before the DLC. I'll do a video on the DLC, but not the tier ranking. More of a how certain things link in. Because I did a, a, a watch of my own video and I saw, hey, wait a minute, that, that looks familiar. St stuff you don't pick up or you have to be very observant to pick up. Um as you play through it so I, I won't do a like internet dive on it because i want it to be authentic but yeah i'll do do some video on what i what i found myself so thank you very much everybody this has been edit of child with the walking dead season one at least uh with what should be the last video of the season unless i do some some playthroughs of uh, other choices but yeah so see you then when we get to season two thank you very much and have a very good day Bye bye